A little less than two weeks ago, Google announced the successor to the Google Home Mini called the Nest Mini. Now we've had our Nest Mini for a few days or so now, and I wanna go ahead and give you the rundown of everything that's new with the Nest Mini, how it compares to the Google Home Mini, and ultimately my recommendations for whether or not you should start replacing all of your Google Home Minis now with Nest Minis. Let's dive in. The Google Home Mini has been one of the most popular Google Assistant speakers in terms of volume, so any change to the speaker is going to be a big deal. So what's new with the Nest Mini? Well, first, the name. Google has been slowly rebranding all of their Google Home devices to Google Nest devices, and the Nest Mini is just the latest device to get this new brand name treatment. Aside from the name change, at first glance, you wouldn't think there's that much different with the Nest Mini than the Google Home Mini. It still has relatively the same dimensions and looks very similar, except now it comes in a new color called Sky, which is the Mini that we have. But there are a lot more changes here than you might expect. At the bottom of the Mini, there's a new wall mount integrated into it so you can hang the speaker directly on your wall. There's a new touch sensitive area at the top of the mini for playing slash pausing media. The power jack is no longer micro USB and the new mini pulls in 15 watts of power versus five watts with the Google Home Mini. There are two new LED lights on the device that light up to show you where to tap to turn up or turn down the volume. Google has also made some changes under the hood as well. They've worked on improving the speaker to make it sound just a little bit better and the speaker now also puts out two times the bass of the original Google Home Mini. Now here's a comparison of how the Nest Mini sounds compared to the Google Home Mini. Google also included their new machine learning chip on the Nest Mini itself, which is actually a pretty big deal. Like with devices like the new Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL I'm holding right now, which has the Google Assistant running locally on device, what this means is that over the next couple of months, you are just going to be able to anticipate the Nest Mini's response times and overall speed of the Google Assistant to get much faster because it's going to rely less on the cloud and be able to process some of your requests on the actual device itself. The last change that Google made to the speaker was including a third far field microphone so the device will be able to hear you even better and more accurately. The Nest Mini retails for $49 officially, but as always, you know that a price cut will drop during the holidays and during other times next year. So, should you replace all of your Google Home Minis with Nest Minis? My answer there is actually no, and here's why. While I think the Nest Mini offers a lot of improvements in its design and functionality, at least from a hardware standpoint, over the Google Home Mini, in my opinion, there's still just not quite enough there to justify replacing all the Google Home Minis you have in your house with Nest Minis, especially at full price. I mean, if you want to, go ahead. But if your main concern is actually you like your Google Home Mini, you just wish it sounded way better, my advice there would be to save up for something like the Nest Hub Max or the Google Home Max. You're just going to get incredible sound with those devices, especially the Google Home Max, which in my opinion is the best sounding smart speaker with the Google Assistant baked into it. My advice there would be save up for one of those or wait till the holiday season. They usually see a price cut around Black Friday through the Christmas holidays. So that would be my advice there. Well, that's it for our first look at the Nest Mini. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more Google Nest videos like this one. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.